Hello guys and welcome to the easiest and most powerful rig using grease pencil. Before we start, if you are really new to rigging and to Blender, there are three links in the description. One, an introduction to a Blender grease pencil for someone who never opened Blender. And the other two are introduction to weight painting and an introduction to rigging. If you just want the rig, you can go ahead to Gumroad and buy it for just two bucks. It's also a way to support the free content on this channel. So thank you in advance for anyone who buys this rig from Gumroad. Also to know how to use this rig, how rigify works you need to watch the first video i did about the stickman in which i demonstrated how this guy works so i want to repeat myself in this video let's start this is a new 2d animation file do we need a reference image for a stickman of course so here's our reference let's drag it to blender to camera view here and release the mouse button now let's disable lock object mode so that we can switch to the camera here and be able to change its settings let's go here under data and the background images and we have some settings so instead of stretch we will do fit and then we will scale the guy a little bit like this and voila now we can start drawing to select our stroke again you see this pencil icon it means that we are in draw mode let's double click on it and rename it stickman we take the line tool here and we draw a line like this you see that it's not thick enough so we do f and we move our mouse like this now let's move it a little bit like this and then move this other yellow circle here and then we can do middle mouse button or enter now you see that you drew the stroke using this material the solid stroke let's go to the layers panel and delete these three materials minus sign minus sign minus sign the solid stroke let's change its color to pink and you see that the stroke we drew changed color too i don't like this white color it's too distracting so we go here to this view mode section and hit this arrow and disable scene world here and now let's draw another line to make it vertical hold shift while dragging i think i will move this stroke by doing g and moving it a little bit then i can do middle mouse button or enter then we do the leg I think we are good so just middle mouse button and now we do the head so we could use the circle tool here but it's not really a circle it's a curving line that overlaps here so we'll do it freestyle we select the draw tool and we draw a head like this you can just keep it like this if you want but i will go to edit mode by hitting tab and then select the head and then there is curve editing here if i left click on it i get these settings here i like usually to disable adaptive resolution change the threshold to like 0 0.3 and change the curve resolution to 16 enable curve editing and you see that we have some points here and some handles it seems that everything is selected oh i think it's because this line mode is enabled so let's enable point selection mode and now if i click yes i can move it click on one point again and move it with g so you need to use g to be able to move the points or we can switch to this selection mode hold the left mode button and select the tweak tool here and now you can just move them without the need of using the g key i think we are good now i can disable curve editing almost done what we will do is to mirror these limbs here so for that we will add a mirror modifier click on the modifiers panel here select the mirror modifier but we needed to mirror just the limbs here so we go here to the layers panel all the strokes we drew on the lines layer let's rename the fills layer to limbs and now select just the limbs this one and this one you see that it selects both so these are just they are generated by the mirror modifier we are really selecting this side here but you can select the mirror and it will select the real stroke too so just one point from here and one point from here and then you do m to move them to the limbs layer we left click on it now we have the limbs here and the lines here and we want to go to the modifier again and change influence to the limbs layer so that the other layers the head and the chest or the spine are not mirrored now what i want to do is to sample the strokes so sampling means that we will keep the stroke but we will replace the points in it so if we sample the head for example we go to stroke in edit mode of course simplify sample now we have less points and i will increase the length a little bit to have less resolution and less points the circle is made of long lines now we will later use a subdivision modifier to fix things up now we select the arm and in the arm i want one line for the hand and then for the rest i want one point in the middle and then half of it for the arm and half of it for the forearm so here it seems to be working but i want less points let's go again to stroke simplify sample and we increase again the length 
here. I think this is good. One point in the middle, three lines for the arm, three lines for the forearm, and one small line for the hand. Very good. The spine will be divided on two, and we don't have a point in the middle here. So again, stroke, simplify, sample. Here you see that we have two close points here. I want to merge them, so I increase a little bit here. And now they are merged, and we have like three lines, one in the middle, and then three lines again on top. Now for the legs, we select this leg. There is no point in the middle. Stroke, simplify, sample. I think I'm going to increase it more. We try to merge these two. Very nice. Now we have three lines on top and three lines for the legs. Now I can apply my mirror modifier to turn our virtual limbs to real limbs. And to apply modifier, we need to be in object mode. To go to object mode, you do either control tab to switch here, or you go to here and you change to object mode too, or you go here and click on this icon. That means that we are in edit mode. And when it's gone, we are in object mode. Nice. Now we do like this and apply. Now let's create some layers. So we go here, click on the upper one and we add a few layers. Let's name this one head arm dot L arm dot right or body or spine or whatever leg dot L. Let's go to edit mode, tab, select the head, just one point, then M, move it to the head layer, the left arm, M, the arm left layer, select the right arm, M, move it to the arm R layer, the body, M, body layer, and now the lines layer I think is empty, and in the limbs layer, we have two legs, so we'll delete this one, and then the limbs layer, we'll name it leg.r, and we select the left leg, M, and move it to leg.l. Now let's add the subdivide modifier and you see that we already have better resolution. Let's select the head and you see that we have some non-destructive points added by the modifier. We can increase the subdivisions. Don't overdo it. Two is enough. Even one could be enough. Now we can start rigging, I guess. But before we do that, if you go out of camera view, middle mouse button and drag, our man here is like in the center of our 3D world here. And there is a point in the middle that is the origin point of this guy. If we go to object mode and try to like scale it, it will scale starting from that point. If we rotate it, it will rotate from that point. We want the guy to be on top of this line, of the X line. If you don't have these enabled, you go here and enable X, Y, and Z so that you can see the floor of our 3D world. So what we need to do is to get this guy up and then get the origin point of this guy like here under its feet let's go to camera view again and what we need to do first is to move the camera first let's select the camera g z to move it vertically on the z axis and now it's moving and you see our reference image the x axis here is coming let's zoom in a little bit again g z and move it up let's hide the stick man to see if we are good yes and now we can move our stick man we can either move it in edit mode by selecting all the points and doing also G, Z and moving it up like this. And this way the origin point stays here. Or we can in object mode tab G, Z and move it up. Now the origin is like here. But since our 3D cursor is here in the world's origin, if it's not in the world's origin, if it's like here, for example, you do shift S cursor to world origin, this one. And here it is. And then you select your grease pencil object, right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Now, if we rotate the guy, it will rotate on this origin point. And if you scale it, it will scale relative to that origin point and its legs are not moving the floor. Alt S to get back to its original scale and now zero to get back to camera view. Do we still need this reference image? I don't think so. So let's select the camera, this panel here and the Zabel background image or just delete the background image from here. Now we do shift A armature single bone then we go to edit mode tab select this bone the center of the bone then gz and move it up there is something i didn't check in this guy here let's go back to our stick man edit mode and see if our spine is in the center of this z axis let's select one point go here to this wire edges mode if you can see it you need to use your mouse wheel or you click with your middle mouse button and move like this the spine is not aligned perfectly with the z axis as i said one point and then l to select the whole stroke and then you do g and x this time to move just horizontally and we move it so that it is on top of the z axis and now it is perfect let's go back to material preview mode go back to object mode select the armature go back to edit mode tab move this bone up like this and we can start making our armature g z to move this ball like this and then e to extrude it and create a new bone and then z again to move it just vertically put the ball just like here in this virtual arc here of the head and then e again and we create the head bone again z to constrain it on the z axis but you remember that we created points so that one point is in the center of this 
spine here but we can't see that point how do we do to know where the point is so that we put this ball on top or close to that point so again let's select the stick man here let's go to edit mode so we can see the point a to select everything so we can see our points let's disable our subdivide modifier so that we can see only the real points and now how to mark these points that we need for that we will need this annotation tool left click and hold and then go here and select this one release your mouse button on top on this bar here you see that start known and end known so in the end we will add an open arrow to the line that we will draw it's not working for some reason let's do n let's go here to view go down to annotations is this one new so now it should work i think it's not working because we have tweak here so let's change this to select box and not try again and yes it's working another arrow here let's do a to select all the points and see all the other points so an arrow for this one all the joints an arrow for this points you see that we were wrong in putting the ball here so here shift middle mouse button to move here this knee and this knee now let's select our armature let's go back to edit mode select this ball like this box select gz and move it here so this is like a three bones chain and if i move this bone here you see that it is connected to the chest bone but i want it to be separated but still parented to this one so i select it i do alt p and instead of clear parent i choose disconnect bone now if i move it it is disconnected but still parented and you see this line here that shows the parenting Control z to put it back in its place duplicate this bone by doing shift d move it here the duplicate will also be parented to the chest bone which is what we want and now this ball we move it with g here we need to bend these bones a little bit so that the blender later knows the direction in which to bend the elbow e again to extrude we put it here close to the hand points and then e again to create the hand so these two bones need not to be straight but we need a small angle between them them. now what will make our rig so much easier than it should be <laughs> is that we will use rigify rigify is an add-on that ships with blender but i think it's not by default enabled when you install blender so you may need to go to edit preferences and then to add-ons and here look for rigify just enable this checkbox and we will need rigify types to be added to these bones so that we can later generate a rigify rig but we need to go to pause mode so we do control tab and select pause mode here and then we can select the first bone in the arm add the type only to the base of the chain the first bone in it so that it applies to all these bones we go here to bone properties down to rigify type we just type arm and we choose this one limbs arm and we have some settings now the first is about limb segments two here it will split this bone and this one also to two bones so i just put it to one and b bone segments will change these bones to bones that will bend and go into arcs most people use 10 but i just use 5 because i find it is enough and this is it we are done with the arm now we select the first bone of the spine go to rig type and we choose this time tentacle we get this one limb simple tentacle we select it so the tentacles are usually used for tails for octopus tentacles but we will use it for the spine because it will also create a bending in the spine resembling that of a tail and rotating one of these bones like this bone make it rotate the upper bone which will create a nice effect but we need to select an axis here for that bending to occur for that we need to know the local axis of these bones so let's go here to the armature properties and the viewport display and we enable axis let's also enable in front so that our armature is always in front of our character and now we can see the axis so if we zoom in you see that the z axis the local z axis of this bone is the one facing us and it's the same for the second bone too so back to camera view zero again we select this bone back to bone properties disable x and replace it with z as you saw in the arm it gave us the option to have bendy bones but here there is no option so we'll add them manually let's go here to bendy bones in segments we do five in this one also we do five to see your bendy bones you can go again to the armature properties and you change the display from octahedral to b bone and now you see these segments in each of our two bones 
change back to octahedra nice i will duplicate the arm to the leg let's go back to edit mode let's select one bone from the arm and do l to select linked and select all three bones shift d to duplicate it and now we have our legs so let's place this ball here this ball close to the knee but we need a small bend in here for the knee and then this ball we put it in the tip of the leg we don't have a foot in our character but we need this foot bone so that rigify can create our limbs correctly so this is it i guess the only problem is that now this bone is parented to the chest bone but we want it to be parented to this bone here so control z to put it back in its place and then we select this bone shift select the tummy bone control p and we do make parents but keep offset and now let's rename our bones so this one we name it tommy so we do f2 tommy enter this one left click f2 chest f2 head f2 arm f2 forearm f2 hand thigh leg and f2 foot very nice because selecting bones you need to box select the whole bone and not leave any of these balls here and if i box select too close to these ones i risk of selecting them too so we will just box select these shift select this one and shift select this one right click names auto name left right let's click on this guy our arm is now named arm.l which means left arm the forearm to the hand box select these shift select this one and shift select this one right click and we can symmetrize to the other side let's go back to pose mode tap we didn't do the head so let's do it now type in super and choose this one basic super copy this one works for like single bones and we can choose to control if we want a bone to control this bone yes we want to to deform if we want this bone to deform our grease pencil character yes we want it to deform to move and to scale etc the head and if we want a widget by the default it's a circle i want it to be a limb widget so we choose limb from here and this way it will have the same widgets that the arms will have go here to armature properties and we do generate rig Ta -da! now we can hide our original armature don't delete it because if you do a mistake if you find that something is missing you can go back to this armature and do changes in edit mode or pause mode and then you can regenerate rig as you can see here if you delete it you will lose that possibility this is our new armature and look how sexy it looks it looks like some some old anime robot very beautiful and you see that we have the same widget in the head here and in the arms too now we can parent our character to our armature so we select it first oh we are still in edit mode here that's because of the lock object mods disabled back to object mods let's hit this icon here and now we can delete these annotations to do so you just select the annotation tool left click in any mode you are or with any object selected you can just go here and you hit this x button here and voila now let's select our selection tool again and our character is selected shift select the armature we do Control p to parent it set parent to armature deform with empty groups left click on it let's select our character and let's go here to this object data properties panel and we have our layers here and we go down to vertex groups and i will move it on top of the layers so that we have them close to each other and we can easily select vertex groups and layers so these vertex groups were automatically created when we parented our character to the armature we select the head one and we go to edit mode tab annotation tools is selected let's select our selection tool let's select one point from the head and then l to select linked hide our armature so that we see our points clearly only our head points are selected we can do assign to assign our points to our vertex group now we select arm l we select one points the top of the arm and we do Control plus to select more points and these are the points that we need for our arm left vertex group and we do assign box select to select these four points and these three lines the left forearm and do assign box select to select the hand select the hand vertex group and do assign again the arm the right arm and do control plus 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 or there is another method you can go here auto lock and active layers you select the right arm layer and now if you select only the arm will be selectable so you can box select here without the risk of selecting vertices from the spine or from the head so box select your upper arm make sure arm r vertex group is selected and do sign and again these ones forearm right forearm assign right hand selected select the right hand vertex group assign next the thigh the left thigh we can go and select the left leg here 
Now this is the only one that is selectable. So we select these four points, assign, and then the left leg, these four points, assign, and then the foot. We don't have a foot and we don't need this vertex group, so we delete it. Minus sign button, thigh R, the right thigh. Now we select the right leg. Now we can select the upper leg. Yes, these four points. Right thigh, assign, and then we select these four lower points. Select the right leg, grab, and do assign. Zero, back to camera view. Go to uh, vertex weight mode. So control tab and select weight paint mode. Now, if we go back to the head vertex group, you see that the head is in red, which means it's correctly painted and weight is correctly assigned to this group and to these points and nothing else is showing red. I think we missed something here. Yes, I missed the tummy and the chest. You see, that's why all these are blue and these ones are black. Control tab tab edit mode select our body layer here and then box selects these four points select the chest group assign and then the four lower points select the tummy and assign and now back to weight paint mode back to the head head is okay left arm is okay left forearm left hand right arm right forearm right hand left thigh left leg right thigh right leg no foot just delete this one the tummy and the chest very nice this is the control tab object mode we can't see our character, our grease pencil object anymore because it is parented to our rig. If we expand, we can see it here under the rig. That means that it is parented to it. Let's unhide our armature, select our armature. Let's go to pose mode, control tab. And now if we select the hand, for example, we can move it like this. We can rotate this one and you see that there is a bend here when we rotate left and right. It is correctly set up and we have this funny animation here already. The legs are working too, the eye key. If we move the chest or the tummy up, you get this stretching, etc. But why do we get these distortions in the joints here? That is because of ordering of our modifiers. Let's select our grease pencil character. Go here to modifiers and you see that we have first a subdivide modifier and then an armature modifier. So the subdivide modifier will add points and then the armature will come and work on these points to deform our grease pencil object. If we disable subdivide modifier, we get this. And the fix is very easy. It's just to move the subdivide modifier after the armature. And now the armature will deform the object like this. And then comes the subdivide modifier and smooths these corners here. And we get a really nice curve here, even for the hand, as you can see. So what do you prefer? This effect here or this effect without the subdivide modifier? Look at the head, look at these lines. Now we enable subdivide and we get a perfect circle. I think we did it. Yes, the head can be moved. You can switch between IK and FK. So changing and tweaking the settings is explained in the first video I did about the stickman. Um, yes, we have a root bone here, a big root bone that you can move like GX like this or rotate it like on the Z axis or Z and you can rotate like this. Isn't this beautiful? And see our stickman in Blender, we drew it in 2D, but it is a 3D stickman. You see our strokes have depth, our grease pencil have depth. So this is it, I guess. What a weird pause is this? It's like <laughs> it is skating or something. Thank you for watching. If you want to buy this character, it is on Gumroad for two bucks to support the free content. Uh, see you in another video and peace.